So like in the other video, we imported the P25 trunking data from Radio Reference. We're going to show how to import conventional radio data right from Radio Reference. So we're going to create a new code plug just to start fresh. Go down here to 60, whoops, go down to G5. Create that profile. Go right up to the import Radio Reference. I've already entered all my data, so we don't need that. Select our country, Delaware. Now we're going to go over to Iowa for a little bit. We'll try over there. We can go right to an agency. Maybe they got some interoperability. It's down in here, Department of Transportation will do that. So it looks like they got 82 frequencies for Department of Transportation in Iowa. We are not going to select all 82 because that will get very busy very quick. But it looks like we'll choose these three frequencies for Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, so we're under Agencies, Department of Transportation. And then you'll see that all of the only option we have down here is create new knob or zone. If you do not check this, all it will do is add it to the frequency and system setting area. It will not add it to a knob or a function under a zone. So we'll go import into PPS, imported three frequencies. We'll exit out. So if we go to frequency and system settings, you'll see that it added the three channels right here, the IC Highway Help, CR Highway Help and then Highway Help John C, which are both two VHFs and a 700 meg channel. And then we'll go down to zone and channel setting. You'll actually see that an additional zone was added and then all three channels were added here. So one thing to be aware of is all this is is to select them in monitor mode. You would still have to add an additional zone here for like normal scan where you would add those channels to a scan list if you wanted to just scan them like a scanner so with that save save and then you can program your uh, pager it's that simple